Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Free to Focus, a creation by Michael Hyatt. Free to Focus, 2019, by Michael Hyatt, challenges common misconceptions about productivity and introduces a fresh approach to structuring our workday. Against the backdrop of a world filled with distractions and constant demands on our attention, these summarizer provide a practical reality check, along with valuable tips. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Michael Hyatt, an American author and podcaster, is widely recognized for his expertise in technology and productivity. With a strong background in the publishing industry, he served as the chairman and CEO of the renowned publishing house Thomas Nelson. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the text is implying that the focus is on productivity and efficiency rather than simply doing more work. It suggests that there is a benefit to be gained from achieving productivity without necessarily increasing one's workload. The culture of more is causing stress and a constant need for more productivity. The book Free to Focus offers an alternative approach, focusing on doing more of the right things. The book explains how to handle distractions in the workplace and increase productivity for a calmer and more content work experience. Time is a zero-sum game, and getting more sleep can lead to increased productivity. Key idea number one, the traditional understanding of productivity needs to be re-evaluated. The concept of productivity is often misunderstood and counterproductive. Trying to work faster and cramming more tasks into our schedules actually decreases productivity. Working overtime also leads to decreased productivity due to stress and fatigue. Instead of focusing on productivity, we should strive for freedom. This includes the freedom to focus and accomplish deep work, as well as the freedom to do nothing and allow for creative breakthroughs. Key idea number two, taking the time to rest and recharge is not a luxury, but a necessity. During busy periods, people often cut down on recreation and relaxation, believing that time is flexible and energy levels remain constant throughout the day. However, time is fixed and energy levels are finite. The best work is usually done in the morning when our minds are fresh, while after lunch, productivity decreases. In order to maximize focus and efficiency, it is important to prioritize rejuvenation, especially through sleep. Neglecting personal relationships can also negatively impact energy, motivation, and mental health, which in turn affects productivity. Play, or recreational activities done for pure joy, is a powerful tool for recharging and improving focus. Key idea number three, productivity is about recognizing tasks that are not necessary. To improve productivity, it is important to prioritize tasks and eliminate non-essential ones. This involves assessing your passion and proficiency for each task and focusing on those that score high in both areas. Non-passionate and non-proficient tasks can be delegated or outsourced. By focusing on tasks that you are both passionate about and proficient in, you can maximize efficiency and enjoyment in your work. Key idea number four. Learning the power of saying yes and no is crucial for maintaining focus and freedom. The key point of this text is that highly productive people understand the power of saying no. They know that time is limited and that saying yes to unnecessary tasks or requests can prevent them from focusing on important work. Establishing rituals can also help protect time and maximize productivity. Rituals provide clarity and closure and once established, they become time-saving habits. Key idea number five. The advice is to prioritize three important tasks each day and create a schedule for your week that aligns with your goals. The text emphasizes the importance of planning our day and having a clear direction to be productive. Setting specific tasks, referred to as the big three, helps prioritize objectives. 
Mapping out an ideal week also helps boost productivity by scheduling appointments and activities strategically. While the ideal week may not always be achievable, having a clear picture of it gives a sense of purpose and satisfaction. Key idea number six, challenging the distraction economy can lead to rewards. Technology such as instant messaging and social media has made it easier to procrastinate and has decreased our ability to focus and concentrate. These distractions, combined with interruptions, can waste a significant amount of time. To combat this, it is suggested to limit checking emails, utilize Do Not Disturb mode on your phone, use focus applications to block certain websites, and create a clutter-free workspace. By recognizing the negative impact of the distraction economy and taking steps to minimize its effects, we can regain our focus and productivity. In conclusion, Productivity is not about saving time and taking on more work mindlessly. It is important to choose high-value tasks that benefit the business, while also prioritizing rest and recovery. Creating a not-to-do list can help in eliminating tasks and responsibilities that are not worth the time. The book, Your Best Year Ever by Michael Hyatt, offers practical tips for personal and professional transformation. Start improving yourself now rather than waiting until January 1st. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.